This is the final part of 1H part 3. You've created all the queries that are necessary and now you need to automate them using a macro. You may recall that you created this process booking button that runs a blank macro called process booking. So if we change this macro and go into design view, we can start to open each of these queries one at a time. So I'm going to scroll down here to open query and the first one that we need to run will be the query that appends the booking because we can't add the pitch allocations until we've appended the booking. I'm now going to do the other queries so we're going to go for open query append pitch allocation and then we'll add another one which will be open query and this time we'll be updating the number of pitches. So we want the one where it updates it, we should have query update pitch type. So that's the number of pitches remaining. This time we're going to add a query to delete those remaining records, delete new pitch allocation so that they go. Now that's most of everything completed but I'm also going to add another um, action on here to close the form because that will then clear any of the data that's still on the form so that we're ready for a new booking if we want to. And we do that using close window. The object type that we're going to close is the form. The object name that we're going to close will be the new booking form and we don't need any prompts for it so I'm going to say no. So we can save that macro and now we can test it and see if it's going to work. So we've got a new booking ID here, a booking ID 12. So I'm going to add some new data to this now. So we'll go for real life church, we'll choose porter cabin, we'll have one of those for two adults and one child. And then let's go for hard standing super pitch. Uh, let's go for three of those, six adults and three children. Okay, so when we click on process booking, we expect it to run all of those queries. So let's see what happens. It's running this append query for the booking table. It's gonna add that one record, that's good. Now it's going to run another append query, which is for the uh, new pitch allocations. And there's two rows there, so that's good. Now we're gonna update the query. So that is going to update the rows for the pitch type, so it will reduce the quantities. And then finally we've got the delete query that will modify the data by deleting everything in the new pitch allocation table. And I'll say yes, and hopefully it will then close the form. Brilliant. And macro has worked. Now there's a little extension exercise that you might want to try here. You noticed all of those messages appearing that's not particularly tidy for an end user. And it would we really want to get rid of all user interaction apart from clicking the process booking button. So what we're going to do is we're going to add an extra action in here that will change those warnings and remove those warnings. But we can't actually see that action, so we need to change this option here where it says show all actions. If we select that, we'll now get some extra actions. And what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down until we find set warnings. There it is. And we're going to set our warnings to be no. And we'll move this right to the beginning. Now if I save this, and we'll try running another query. So we'll go for a new booking. Run the other macro. So we'll go for that one. And we'll just put one, one in this time two of those, one adult, zero children. And we'll process that booking. There we go, we didn't get anything appear. Let's have a look. Booking, it's added that booking, number 13. That's good. And pitch allocation, number 44, that was booking 13. That's good. Well, we didn't check what the quantity was to start with, but I'm fairly certain that that will have updated it. Now what you've got to do is you've got to annotate all of the stages that you followed. You need to annotate exactly what data is being updated and how it's being added to the tables. So have a look at the similar different task instructions, look at what it says to annotate, and look at 
the similar but different answers so that when you come to do the real coursework you'll know the sort of annotation that you're expected to do and you can follow that example of annotation but obviously apply it to the real coursework. Well done if you've got this far, that was quite a hard task.